Ring spinning is to further reduce the size of a roving into yarn. The roving is drafted by a drafting system similar to that of a roving frame. Twist is added onto the fiber strand by the ring and traveler system in order to provide the necessary strength to the yarn produced. The standard drafting arrangement of a spinning frame consists of three pairs of rollers. The top rolls are held in contact with the bottom rolls by pressure of the weighted arms. The three pairs of rolls are positioned in an inclined angle to permit the twist to reach up to the front rolls so that the ends will not break down. Twist is inserted on the yarn by threading the yarn through the traveller, which revolves at high spindle speed on the circular track of the ring. As twist is inserted, it progresses upward through the thread guide to the front roll and gives the fibre ribbon the sufficient strength to withstand the running tension. The yarn produced is wound in layers onto the bobbin by means of the up and down movement of the ring rail. In case a piece of yarn breaks, piecing is done manually by firstly inserting twists onto the yarn and then overlapping the free yarn end to the fiber ribbon delivered from the front rollers. Modern ring frames are equipped with auto-doffing mechanisms. When yarn packages are wound to a predetermined length, the machine will stop. The ring rail moves to the lowest position and the yarn ends are fixed. The doffing arm rises over the top of the full bobbin and pulls them away from the spindles and replaces them with empty bobbins. The ring rail then rises to the start-up position and the fixed yarn is wound onto the bobbin when the spindle starts rotating.